Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is our first uh, Saturday Kids Crafting video. Now normally I do soaping videos, uh, making bath bombs, etc. But I decided uh, since one of my granddaughters loves to watch our channel so much, her parents said you should do craft Kids Craft videos. So we're going to try this. We're going to do one... Saturday a month, the first Saturday of every month, we're going to do a little fun project for kids. And uh, I post the supplies list over on our Dirty Booty Soaps Facebook page, which I will link you below. Um, so I do that usually around the middle of the month. I'll put a supplies list out for our first Saturday video course. Um, and so that gives you plenty of time to go out and pick up the supplies you need and then you can watch the video on the Saturday that it comes out and do the crafts with your kids and have a great time. So this Saturday's class, this is our first Saturday in June and we're doing sidewalk chalk. I figure it's appropriate, it's summer, it's an easy, easy thing for kids to do. And then they can go out when these are all dried and set up and color on the sidewalks with their sidewalk chalk. So if you have followed my Facebook page, you already should have your supplies in hand. Um, if not, and you want to go get them after watching the video, this is what you're going to need. You need, and I bought my supplies at Michael's. Um, I went and bought their plaster of Paris. This is a five pound box. And, uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of the mix plus water. So you're gonna need water as well. Uh, you need these uh, tempura paints. I bought the neon set. It came in a set of six different colors. They have different uh, like primary colors, uh, pastel colors. Uh, you can get whichever colors you like. I happen to pick neon because I thought they were nice and bright for summer. You'll need some cups to mix your different colored plasters in. Um, you can get these uh, little plastic like Dixie cup type things and then I also I didn't have enough of these so I've got these little plastic kind of beakers things here. You'll need some spoons to mix with. I mentioned you'll need your water. You need a measuring cup because we're going to measure equal parts of the plaster and the water. And then you're going to need some kind of mold. Oops. I picked this one up at Michael's. It's of a silicone flower mold. I thought, what fun, fun sidewalk chalks will this make? And they're the perfect little size to fit into your hands. So that's the one I got. You can get different ones. They have little silicone molds. You can do all sorts of things like dinosaurs. You can do hearts. You can do butterflies. There's all sorts of different kinds of molds. Like I said, I got mine at Michael's along with the paints and the plaster. So all my supplies come from Michael's except for like the spoons and the cups. So we're gonna get started. Uh, you're gonna wanna put something down over your work surface so it doesn't get dirty. I'll probably still get dirty, you never know. Anyway, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set this off to the side for a second, is we grab our bag of plaster, and you can get plaster at other places, but I really like this one from Michaels because it comes in a resealable bag, which is really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do, and I've made my chalk before already, so I know that it's gonna take um, a third of a cup. So I've got my third of a cup measure. I'm gonna measure off a third of a cup in each of these cups. And then we'll come back to add the water after. So very carefully, you don't wanna get the big cloud of this stuff all over the place. So we're gonna just tap our, our plaster of Paris in there. And I'm kinda, of, as I scoop in the bag, I'm kind of leveling the cup out as I against the side of the bag before I bring it out, like so, so it's nice and level, because that way when we get our water, it's going to be the same way, it's nice and level in there, so we know we have equal parts. So now we've got our equal parts of plaster in all our cups, 
I'm going to go ahead and reseal my bag of plaster now. I'm just going to zip that closed. Sometimes it's a little hard to get that zipper going. But I'm doing that now because I don't want it to accidentally fall over and make a mess. So we're going to just go ahead and put that back in the box and tuck it out of the way. That way we don't have to worry about making a mess. Now, I filled up this big measuring pitcher full of water. It just makes it a little easier to get our water out. So you just dip your cup in, get a nice level little cup of water, and we're gonna just do one of these for now. We're gonna do these one at a time. So I've poured my water in one of my cups, and what we're gonna do is pick a color. I'm gonna start with yellow. I'm gonna bring my mold back over here. And actually, I'm gonna put something underneath my mold because I'm going to, sorry, I'm gonna be moving this mold after. I'm not gonna let it sit on the kitchen counter. So I want to have it sitting on something that I can easily pick up and move. So let me make sure you can still see everything. Yep. So we're going to shake up our, our tempera paints. We've got our water and plaster in there. And there's really no measuring to this. I'm just going to give it a good squeeze. And then start stirring. Now you want to hold the cup while you're stirring so it doesn't get away from you. Give it a good stir, round and around. You want to have it nice, smooth texture. Try and mix in all of the plaster that you can into the water, nice and evenly. And if it's not a, the same color as you want, you can just give it a little squirt of extra paint until you get the color you want. And there's my yellow. And then I'm going to pour it into one of these flowers. So you pick out whichever one you want to do. I think I'm going to do these middle flowers as a yellow. And we're just going to carefully spoon it into the mold. And then just try to kind of Give it a little tap with your spoon just to kind of make sure it's in all the little corners. And there we go. That is our yellow. So we're going to put our little cup off to the side and we'll continue on with our other colors. So this time we're going to take our water, move on to the next color. Oops. And I think we'll do blue. So we'll give it a good squeeze of the blue. And since I already did these, you will see what they look like here at the end when you pop them out. I let mine dry uh, for, it was a few hours only, but I, it's best to let these sit well, at least for a few hours, but I would let them sit overnight. So this is a pretty light blue. I think I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more in. Just to try and get a little darker blue. That's looking really nice. And we're gonna just pick a flower. I think we'll do this one. It's got really pretty, almost like a forget-me-not flower. So I think we'll pour the blue into there. And scraping out carefully. Trying not to make too much of a mess and trying to get all of our corners down there filled with the plaster. So on to the next color. I really think these are fun 
fun things to do together as a family. You could have the kids working on each a color of their own and the parents could get involved and pick their own color to do and mix. It's something fun, right? You gotta have fun with each other. Right, kids? It's all about the fun. And these are so easy that any kids can do these. You know, you could have your parents hold the cup for you while you stir. If you can't quite manage both. Look at that orange. Love the orange. So let's see. What color, which flower shall we put? Which one shall we put the orange in? I think we'll do one of these. So we're going to pour the orange in. Try and scrape this out. Oops, I made a mess. That's okay. I'll just scrape it in. I've got a little bit too much in there. There we go. So we'll just kind of tidy that up. And you can kind of tap your board down or have mom and dad tap your board down just to shake it down in there a bit. And I'm going to just wipe that with my fingers. Just, and we'll rinse them off. We'll rinse it off in the sink. Because you don't really want to have your hands get on that for very long. So there we've got our orange, our yellow, our blue. And now we're going to move on to our next color. I think we'll do a pink. So we've got our water. And look at this pink. That's a fun pink. So if I can figure out how to open the lid. So we're going to give it some good squirts of the pink because I want a nice pink to show up. And that's the thing. You can have it as light or as dark as you want. Ooh, look at that pink, guys. Wow. That's an awesome pink. That should turn out really pretty. Just trying to get all that plaster mixed in good. And we'll pick a pink flower right here next to the blue one, I think. Scraping our sides down, trying to get all all that we can in there. And that's the great thing about these cups. If you have a disposable cup, you can just toss them right into your garbage. These cups, these beaker ones though, I will use again. So I will wash these out. And there's the pink. Let's see, we've got uh, kind of a red and a green left. There's our water there. Shake up our green. And we'll do a dark green as well here. Pretty repetitive, but these are going to be so cute, you guys. So just mix up and pour as you go. This would be a fun thing to do for birthday parties if you could get a few of these molds and uh, it would be a fun craft for kids birthday parties. They could start out, especially if you have like an all day party thing going on, have them make their chocks first thing in the morning. And then later in the afternoon, they might be even ready to use, but they'll at least be ready for everybody to take home. What a good idea. So there's the green. That's a pretty green. 
And last but not least, we have the red. Are you getting excited to see what they're gonna look like? They're pretty cool. I might go out and color in my driveway. So we'll give it a good amount of this as well. So we get a nice punch of color. Our last one, ooh, look at that color. It's kind of a pinky red, isn't it? There we go. That's a nice pretty color. That's almost a pink, kind of a pink. So we'll get that in this last one. Tap it down just a little to fill those corners. And there we go. And just, we're gonna take our little board just to kind of, in case there's any air bubbles down at the bottom, this will help them kind of come to the top. You see, we've got some little bubbles. That's okay. They'll come to the top. And then I'll show you what we get when you pop them out of the molds. They come out so pretty. And this is our final project. And look at the pretty blue. And we've got, this is that reddish color. Here's our orange. And I did these ones a little bit lighter than the ones we just did there. But the more paint you put in, the more vivid your color will be. Look at the green. Isn't that a pretty green little, little daisy? And then our little pink flower. So this is a fun, like I said, a fun, easy craft. Anybody can do. Kids will find it fun. You know, summer vacation's uh, upon us here soon. So give them a little fun craft to do and some sidewalk chalks to color with. And there we have it. A nice, easy kids crafting with Mima project number one. Like I said, we put our supplies list on our Facebook page over at Dirty Booty Soaps around the middle of each month. And uh, so next month, actually, we're going to do stepping stones. I'll let you know now. Go over to Michael's. They did have them on sale. I'm not sure if they're on sale anymore, but they have these stepping stone kits. And that's going to be our next project for the first Saturday in July. So check it out on Michael's. And uh, until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Have fun doing your sidewalk chalks. And... You'll have to go over on our Facebook page at Dirty Booty Soaps. If you make sidewalk chalks, take a picture and share it with me. You know, do one of those little visitor post things. I'd love to see what you make. So there you go. You guys have a lovely day and have fun crafting with your Mima. Bye for now.